Well, he usually doesn't miss initiatives that he's been doing. How you doing? Hello, Phil. Good to see you. Man. My pleasure. It's lovely to see you. Nice lovely to see, see you again. I keep seeing you on telly. I keep seeing you. <laughs> yes, all over. It, all it'll be your your time soon. Yeah. I'll my wife Sharon. Hello. Sharon, Sharon on there. Lovely to meet you again. Welcome and my wife Judy. Hello, Hello Judy. So nice to see you. Yes. Excellent. My wife Sharon. Sharon. Hello, Sharon. How are you? Welcome. And our city manager Greg Maddock. Good to see you. Mayor Campbell. So you're you're the one that's getting the city ready. Thank you very much, Mayor Campbell. Well, it's. It's been wonderful for our city. I know it will be for Sydney also. But you people have been wonderful. I sat in all the executive meetings yesterday, and it was just really terrific, and we appreciate that enormously. We were on our best behaviour, man. <laughs> As the end of the games approaches, Mayor Bill Campbell hosts a lunch for Frank Sartor and his group. I, I said, look, there's, there's two vital ingredients you need to survive in these jobs. One is your sense of humour, and the other is your imagination. Every day when I've had a really hard day, on my way home, I think of all the things I could do to my enemies. <laughs> and by the time I get home, I've done them all. <laughs> and then I, I sleep well that night, the next morning Stop. I get up and I'm on with it. <laughs> and of course, your sense of humour is vital as well. You've got to be able to laugh at things. Yes, humour is always important. <laughs> <laughs> and how's yours going? <laughs> <laughs> Mayor Campbell, how does it feel to be sitting where you are now, ready to pass the flag on to him? I have enjoyed these games immensely. I've also known great sadness during these games, so I have run the, a great range of emotions, as you can imagine. Um, I'm saddened that it's coming to an end. But also, I'm, I'm very happy that uh, Frank and uh, the people of Sydney will very capably uh, take the mantle and move forward. And we'll be able to watch and see how they uh, take on the same challenge that we've had for the last six years. In the spirit of Olympic struggle, we will be trying to better them, uh, but then that's the nature of the Olympic Games. And just like athletes try to aspire uh, and train for four to six or seven years to reach the pinnacle of their career, uh, Sydney will be uh, training very hard and working very hard to produce an excellent Games in 2000. Carol, given your experience so far with hosting Olympic Games, what advice would you give to uh, to the Mayor of Sydney? Come on, courtesy. Excuse me. Hey, honey, can, can, you guys work, can you guys just work this out? Can you duck down? Come in front. Give them a fair go. Why don't you throw him out? No, 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 come on. No out? more of this. Duck down. Yeah, sorry about the <coughs> advice that you would uh, give um, in terms of what you would do differently, um, what were the good things you did, what were the things you'd prefer to have done differently. Limit the number of media that come. <laughs> I really got upset with some of the negative press about Atlanta at the beginning of the games, and, and, and I suggested on the air, and this was reported in the Washington Times and some other newspapers, that at the end of the games, all the citizens of Atlanta would line the expressway from the press center all the way to the airport. And when the media bus goes by, we'll all turn around, drop our drawers, give the media a vertical smile, and they can, as I said on the air, kiss our black, brown, and white asses as they leave town. So it's down under in the year 2000. They haven't yet picked one for not for a park. I'm sorry. So how does Sydney 2000 deal with that? Media interest is shifting to Sydney. The Australian Tourist Commission is throwing a party. I got it. Do you show my waist? Do you show below my waist here? No. Okay. How far is it from one side mm -hmm. to the other? Uh, about the same distances from New York to San Francisco. Is that right? This is, in fact, the greatest publicity event that Australia's ever seen, as well as the Great Olympic Games. A few guys have been complaining about the, uh, the nature of Atlanta with regard to the commercialization. So, it's down under in the year 2000. They haven't yet picked 2004, and if the people from Seattle have their way... Can I have a couple? No, yeah, no, 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 You have a I found this, I found this. Thank you, yes, so we, Thank we you so much. Yeah. Just make sure you wear them around, the, around, around town. Oh, don't worry, don't worry. So please enjoy the party. And there is plenty of fosters. Somebody asked me before, are we going to run out? No, I assure you we are not. <laughs> well, please enjoy yourself. And now we are open for questions. 
I just saw the Kevin, the mascot. Could you tell me the relationship between Kevin, mascot, and your organization? The koala. Yeah, right. The koala. Well, the koala is one of our most popular national animals, particularly in Japan. Four, and if the committee from Seattle has its way, it will be the Emerald City in 2008. A foster sauce. Foster sauce? You're trying to say two, is that? She's got a whole car. That's what I'm saying. Thank you, Maggie. How's it going? Fine, Chief. Life's become very versatile since we last uh, last caught up here in the capacity of chief koala uh, person. The koala seems to have done his job. It does, certainly has. As we were saying back that uh, the reaction has been fantastic, the coverage has been tremendous, and uh, but yes, as we said all along, we needed something to uh, to create interest. I can't wait to come see y'all in Sydney. What do you know about Sydney? Well, I know that y'all live there. It's 9 o'clock and you're listening to Atlanta's Morning News. Good morning, I'm Mike Cavanaugh. Day 17, final day of the Centennial Olympic Games. Our team coverage includes traffic and weather every six minutes. An update on the games in 15. Four years, the Olympic flag has graced our city hall. It has heralded the arrival of the world. It has symbolized our Olympic dream. At tonight's closing ceremonies, I will have the honor of presenting the Olympic flag to Lord Mayor Frank Sartor of Sydney, Australia. May this flag inspire the people of Sydney as much as it has inspired us in Atlanta. There's a great ambivalence, a great remorse about the terrible loss that occurred while the games were in our city, but also a sense of defiance and resiliency that permeated our response to the tragedy, um, but also a sense of relief to move on and turn these games over to the care of the people of Sydney. Well, I don't think there's any doubt that it's been exhausting both in the preparation and in the hosting of the games. So getting back to normal is always a, a great opportunity also. But we have used these games as a catalyst to uh, uplift and enhance the quality of life of the people of Atlanta. So we'll miss it a great deal. being an Australian to represent Australia tonight really and um, Australians are very patriotic and we really we you know, the whole thing's quite spiritual really we really want to do really well and uh, it, it was a very very proud moment it's hard to describe hard to describe it must be perhaps how athletes feel when they win a gold medal or something Frank our girls our basketball is a ring for the medal Olympic Scrooge. 
I live in Atlanta, and I said, oh, God, the Olympics are coming. I can't believe it's going to destroy the city. And now I'm like, I hope that the whole thing never ends because it's changed Atlanta forever. Yes, and another thing, I'd like to wish uh, Australia all the good luck in the Olympics in the year 2000, and hopefully they'll have chess by then, and we Americans love all the pretty Australian girls. <laughs>